Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the topic on how to use completing the square method on finding the maximum or minimum point on a parabola curve. As you guys know, completing the square can be used to find two things. One is the roots of a quadratic equation. The second one, as I mentioned before, is to find the maximum or minimum point. This can be done by converting it into vertex form. Today, our video will be focused on this. I highly recommend you guys to watch the first video first, which is how to use completing the square method to find the roots of a quadratic equation. The video is at the link below. Why I ask you guys to watch first? Because the working that I'm going to show later is very, very similar. Let's discuss the main differences when we use completing the square on finding the roots of the equation and finding the maximum or minimum point of a quadratic equation. As you can see, when we use completing the square to find the roots, we let our y equal to 0. This means that we find our x coordinate when our y equal to 0. On the other hand, on finding maximum or minimum point of a quadratic equation, what we are doing is we try to convert into vertex form. Let's point out the key differences. When using completing the square to find the roots, we let our y equal to 0 and then we find the x value. On finding the maximum or minimum point, we try to convert it into vertex form. In general, there are four steps in using completing the square to find maximum or minimum point of a quadratic equation. The first step is to factor every term by A. Please take note, this is a step where student always misses. The second step is we add plus minus B divided by two square. The third step is factorize. And finally, we rearrange it into the vertex form. Let's take a look on a typical working solution in using completing the square to find maximum and minimum point. Let's break it down into the steps that I mentioned with you just now. The first step is we factor every term by A. As you can see in this equation, y equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 9. Our A is 2. Therefore, we factor the equation by 2. Move on to the next step, we add plus minus b divided by 2 square. The third step is we factorize it. And the final one, we rearrange it into the vertex form. I understand that the second step, third step, and the fourth step is the step that a student find it very difficult to understand. Let's start, discuss it one by one. Let's start with the second step, which is add plus minus b divided by 2 square. How do we get from the first line of equation to the second one? Let's break it down. First, we do simplification on negative 4 over 2. Now we have y equal to 2 bracket x square minus 2x plus 9 over 2. Now, we identify the b of the equation or the coefficient of x. Looking at the equation, our b is negative 2. Now we move on to the second step, which is b divided by 2 squared. Do not forget the negative here. After that, we add plus minus b divided by 2 squared into the equation. Let's go back to the main solutions. Now we have completed the second step. Let's move on to the third step, which is factorize. How do we get from the first line of equation to the second one? It's very simple. Let's break it down first. How do we actually do factorize? First, we write the bracket square, and then we just copy the x and the constant c. And now we have completed the third step, which is factorize. If you wonder why we are able to do that, 
and what is the principle behind? Please click the video below explaining on this principle. Let's move back to the typical solution. As you can see, now we have finished discussing on a third step. Now we can move on to the final step, which is rearrange to vertex form. We do not have enough space here. So uh, let's break it up first. How do we get from the first line of equation to the second one? Very simple. We just multiply the two inside the bracket. Now we are successfully convert into vertex form. You might wonder how we can find our maximum or minimum point from here. Very simple. We just let everything inside the bracket equal to zero. In our case is x minus one. Solving it, we have x equal to one. What do this x equal to one means? It means our x coordinate for minimum point. You might wonder how about our y coordinate for minimum point is this. Now we have successfully calculate the minimum point for this equation, which is y equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 9. We have go through all the general step in using completing the square method to find maximum or minimum point of a quadratic equation. I think we are ready now. Let's try an example together. Let's we try to find the maximum point for this equation, which is y equal to negative 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. The first step is we factor every term by a. As we know, our a for this equation is negative 3. So let's factor it. And we have y equal to negative 3 bracket x square minus 6x over negative 3 plus 2 divided by negative 3 bracket. Let's simplify this further. We have y equal to negative 3 bracket x square plus 2x minus 2 over 3 bracket. Now we can move on to the second set which is add plus minus b divided by 2 square. Therefore, let's identify the b. The b now we have is 2. And we proceed into b divided by 2 square. In our case, it is 2 divided by 2 bracket square. Now we can add this into our equation. We have y equal to negative 3 bracket x square plus 2x plus 2 over 2 bracket square minus 2 over 2 bracket square minus 2 over 3 bracket. Again, let's we simplify it further. We have y equal to negative 3 x square plus 2x plus 1 square minus 1 square minus 2 over 3 bracket. Now we can move on to the third step, which is factorize. So how do we factorize? Very simple. We just write the bracket, we copy the front, we copy the end, and we have x plus 1. To know whether our sign inside is it correct, very simple, we just look at the b sign. If it's positive, inside should be positive. Solving negative bracket 1 square, negative 2 over 3, we have negative 5 over 3. Now let's multiply the negative 3 inside the bracket. And now we have negative 3 x plus 1 bracket square plus 5. Now we have finally convert into vertex form. Let's find the maximum point. We let everything inside the bracket equal to 0. In our case is x plus 1. So s plus 1 equal to 0. And we have x equal to negative 1. On the y coordinate, we just copy exactly the end here. Therefore, our i is equal to 5. Finally, we have find the maximum point for this equation, which is negative 1 and 
5. I have created two questions for you guys to try. The right one is much more interesting because if you look at the bottom answer, you will see that our y minimum is equal to 0. Please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. This will really help me and keep me motivated to keep on making this kind of video. The answer for these two questions is here. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.